Brian, are we in? Uh, are we in for some damage this morning? We certainly could be, Pete. If you look at the SPY futures, we're currently down by 51 points, is 0.7% to begin the week. And that's after a disappointing night on Wall Street on Friday. We saw US investors spooked by a hot inflation report and also at the same time worries about an aggressive lift in interest rates from the US Federal Reserve. After its preferred measure of inflation, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index lifted to 5.4% annualised in January. And in the core cool measure, that lifted 4.7%. So a re-acceleration in inflation after a couple of months of declines, Pete. And we did see the Dow Jones fall by 337 points or 1% on the back of that. Boeing shares were down 4.8% after concerns about a fuselage for its Dreamliner 787 plane. And we did see the S&P 500 index fall by 1.1% with Adobe shares down 7.6% after its $20 billion US dollar bid for cloud design company Figma was obstructed by the US Justice Department. We did see the tech-heavy Nasdaq index down 1.7%, with both Tesla and Microsoft shares down by up to 2.6%. We saw the US two-year two government bond yield lift to a four-month high of 4.8%. In Europe, we did see the Stock 600 index down by 1%. In London, the FTSE UK 100 index was down 0.4%. We saw German econ economic growth or the economy contract by 0.4% in December due to high inflation. Global oil prices lifted 1.2% on the back of concerns around Russian supplies. Here in Australia today, Pete, we get updates from Linus Rare Earths, also TPG Telecom and Woodside Energy with regard to earnings and the Aussie dollars at 67.3 US cents. Good one, Ryan. Thank you.